Hi, and welcome to a Flex Classroom tour at Cambrian College. This is an example of a Flex Classroom at Cambrian, um, which are mostly set up similarly to the other Flex Classrooms here in the college. Typically, there's a podium in the front of the room, which has the computer and the projector. In the back of the room, you've got a second monitor, in most cases, with the camera that is going to record you. There's also ceiling mics, which will record the audio when you're running Zoom from your Flex Classroom. So most classrooms will have a few different remotes, uh, remote controls that you can use to turn on and off the equipment. The white one for Epson is always the projector in the classroom. So to turn that on and off, you just push the blue button here at the top. And that'll turn on and off the projector. The other remotes that you might see are a Samsung remote, which are for TVs at the back of the classroom or at the sides. Um, and you just push the red power button to turn it on or off. There's a separate button to power off on the side. So in the front of the classroom, you've got your podium with your computer and the two monitors. Most of the time, the desktop computer will be located below the podium, um, which you can open the drawer and turn it on if you need to when you get into your classroom. There's also a black box with sound equipment that you shouldn't really need to adjust. Just make sure that it's on. Once we turn our computer on, we can log into the system and actually find and start our meeting. So to start your Zoom meeting for your class, you're just going to locate Zoom on the desktop and double click the icon. Click Sign In and click SSO here at the bottom. Type in Cambrian College, all one word, and then click Open to run the Zoom app. You'll have to start the meeting for your class by clicking Meetings or finding it in Moodle or wherever else you've posted it and run the meeting. Once you do that, it should pick up your video. You can click Join with Computer Audio to sign into the audio. I can already tell that the mics are picking up audio because it's lighting up green. But to test your microphone, all you would do is click this little arrow on the side next to Mute and do an audio test by clicking Test Speaker and Microphone. It's asking if we hear a ringtone, so I'll click Yes. Then if I talk, it can hear me. And it plays back the audio, so I'll click Yes. That tests the speaker and the microphone. Uh, if we need to make any adjustments, we can do so by selecting different microphones here. Same thing with the video. If you need to change the video, you click the up arrow next to it. Blackmagic WDM Capture will be the classroom camera. And Avervision is the document camera that's typically next to the podium. To run your Zoom meeting, all you'll have to do is click on Meetings from the Zoom app here at the top menu. From there, you can go ahead and click the meeting in the list and then Start. Once you start your Zoom meeting, you can record by clicking the Record button at the bottom toolbar in Zoom. Then you can open up any documents that you have to share, such as PowerPoints, websites, or videos, and share your screen. It'll pop up a menu, and you can select which screen you would like to share. Most of the time, faculty would use one screen, for example, screen one on the left, to share with students and use the other screen as a private screen where they can view their Zoom activity or any other notes or any things that they might have. So I'll share screen one. You can click Share here at the bottom. But one thing to note is if you're going to share a video or anything with sound, make sure you click Share Sound and Optimize for Video Clip, which are these two buttons here at the bottom. Then click Share. Now, anything that I'm opening on my first screen will be shared with students who are attending virtually, as well as students who are in the classroom by the projector. Once your class is finished, you can stop recording by clicking the Stop button, then end the Zoom meeting Close Zoom and sign out of the computer. Turn off anything else and you're good to go. One other thing to mention is that you shouldn't be writing on the board with a marker if you have any students attending um, virtually, just because they won't be able to see it since the camera is in the back of the room and the vid video is really small. What you can do instead is you can open up a Word document or a Google Doc, um, and then you can share that screen in Zoom in order to write out any words or anything that you might need to. If you need anything advanced that you need to draw, you can use the Zoom whiteboard feature. 
uh, which is a new feature that Zoom has with some additional options. Or you can use the smart board, um, which a lot of classrooms have built right in. If you have any other questions about using the Epson smart board or any of the other advanced um, tech in the classroom, come see Rob or I in the hub and we'll help you with all of that training.